Hello everybody, today I want to talk about a trend, a design trend that, you know, really feels like copying from Macintosh because, you know, it kind of is. So Macintosh has this really cool feature, which is Spotlight. It allows you to search through your files, applications, and, and this is super important, if you search for a specific file that could be text, as an example, you will see a preview of that text file. And if you search for an image, you will see a preview of that image file. And it's a very um, quick tool that is very easy to bring up with a keyboard shortcut and then you can just search for anything. It's actually something really nice and that you would, you might want to have in a Linux desktop, which is probably why there are so many attempts at trying to implement that. Now, there is a third party um, application uh, for that. I think it's called Ulauncher. Interesting project, but this is not the topic of the video. I'm talking about things that directly integrate in um, desktop shells, be it GNOME or be it KD Plasma. So I have seen this in GNOME. This is an extension that you can easily download from the extension manager that basically embeds the GNOME search, the normal GNOME search, but here. So as an example, if I do anything, you will see the results that normally are, you know, in the screen of uh, GNOME with the search, but you directly get them here. Now, here's the issue. I do feel like GNOME search is not particularly powerful, actually. Firstly, it does not show you any preview of files, which I really feel like is a significant feature of Spotlight. So sure, you can resemble the look and feel, but uh, if you're missing such an important feature, it will not be as good. And you may say, okay, it's trying to be its own thing. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. To be clear, I do like the project. And probably if I were still using GNOME, I would actually install it and use it day to day. There's not much to say about it. What I will say is that personally, I think that the KD Plasma alternative to this is miles ahead. So yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm biased because I'm a KD contributor, but I, I do see where GNOME beats KD. But at the same time, I think that this particular aspect is something where KD beats GNOME hands down. So you've seen what <laughs> this extension is. It's very simple. Now we'll head over KD Plasma and see that this feature is actually out of the box in KD Plasma. You need to enable it. And I want to explain why I think that the KD Plasma version of this is so much more powerful. So let's get into it. Hi, and welcome to the second part of this video. Now we are in KD Plasma. I already feel much better. Just kidding. We can pop up KRunner, which is this one. And how is KRunner any interesting? It doesn't look like Spotlight, but it can look like Spotlight. You just have to tell it to be at its center in its settings. And just like that, much different, isn't it? So now to actually understand fully how powerful Kerner is, because I truly think that this that you're looking at is whole, a whole new level, level compared to the GNOME uh, search. You can just use this button, which shows you how to fully use Kerner. And I think that this already is super nice to have. Like you have a button that explains to you how to use search the most impactful way. You don't have that usually in any desktop out of the box. In here, you do. So what do we have? Firstly, we can spell check words. If you're not sure how a word is exactly spelled, then you just type spell and that word, and that will do the trick actually. Then you can search through places, which are the ones that you see on the left of Dolphin. So downloads, documents, videos, these kind of things, you can just search through them. You can kill applications if they go unresponsive, as an example. You can search through Kate and do things like open sessions of Kate. If you don't know what Kate session are, sorry, you are missing out. You can search the internet. In this case, you will search with Google, but you can uh, use a variety of um, search engines. You do also have this little thing, which is desktop console, which uh, funnily enough, I discovered about five minutes ago while doing the first recording of this video. I totally didn't know about this. So, you know, it's KD contributor 
learns about KDE while doing video about KDE. It's uh, this. I think it's something very technical, like a desktop interactive console. You can play with it if you want. Let's get back to the usage of. You can define words. If you don't remember the meaning of a specific word, then you can just go ahead and type define that word and you will get its meaning just like that. This is particularly uh, useful if you're like not a native English speaker as you may notice I am. You can check for date and time, obviously. And then you have stuff like uh, log out, shut down, these kind of things, you, switching between users, all of this stuff that you would kind of expect. But wait, because there is more. If you go into settings of Kerner, you can actually see all of the search plugins and you can actually turn on and off some specific plugins if you like or don't like any of them, which I think is again another praise on the flexibility of this tool compared to the search system of any other desktop. So what do we have? Firstly, we have the calculator. And you might say, Sh sure, we do also have a calculator. Like it's one plus one, we, we do that. It will tell you two. No, 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 this is another kind of calculator. Now I study mathematics and this is as powerful as, I don't know, Wolfram as alpha, as an example. It features full uh, symbolic computation and advanced mathematics because why wouldn't it? Let me make an example. Uh, you can make, I don't know, maybe you're studying linear algebra. You can make matrix multiplication, not like this. I don't know why Karen keeps on telling me I did this mistake one time and now it's suggesting it every time. Not like this. You just have to write the ma matrices, not matrix. You can see that just like this, I'm doing a matrix multiplication and I see the result, but you can do more. You can integrate derivate, do literally any kind of symbolic computation. And you can even, if you install gplot, gnu plot, I don't know, draw graphs, like you can just go equals graph of a sine x multiplied by x squared, as an example, and it will d draw you that graph, which is super impressive, it's cool, that is cool. <laughs> you do also have all of the browser stuff. So if you do have browser integration of KDE enabled, and if you use KDE, you should have it, like go get it. You can also search into your browser history, which is already pretty good. And you can also search in your browser tabs that you currently have open. Again, both cases, you don't like that. Boom, gone, that's it. But there's more. If you have third party applications installed, that support even more plugins, those applications will integrate into Kerner. As an example, I have NewChat, which is an application for Matrix. And uh, I can search for rooms in NewChat just like this. And that's it, it just works. Which is kind of if you had like WhatsApp and you could search within like, like for WhatsApp groups just by searching in your operating system global search. That is cool. NeoChat is a KDE application and just supports that. You can also use Karaner to get some special special characters that are you wouldn't be able to type on your keyboard otherwise. If you have, an, as an example, their um, hexadecimal, hexadecimal code. And most importantly, you can convert between <laughs> units. As an example, what if I don't know what a centimeter is? you filthy Americans, that is 1.9685 inches. What about milliliters? Well, this I think is particularly cool. You get milliliters to tablespoons, which is of course a measurement unit, Americans pints. <laughs> you can even convert between, you know, milliliters, liters, kiloliters, if you don't know how to do that kind of mathematics, you know, we got you covered. And of course you can even search because why wouldn't you? You can even search between the windows that you currently have open. That's the least I guess at this point. Nicely enough, this is a nice feature. If you want to contribute to KDE, this might be useful. This is something that I'm supposed to use a bit more often than I should. I don't remember how to use it, obviously. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't remember how to use it. However, what it allows you to do is to take any widget, like as an example, sorry, wrong direction, the system tree, like this one, any widget, 
and run that widget inside of a window, like if it was like if it was a window. So the application launcher, as an another example, could be launched as if it was a window. And this actually helps you out into making development for new widgets. You just run them as their own windows without having to each time restart Plasma Shell from scratch. And uh, this is just like the most important features. Like if you go on, there's more because I just covered some of the plugins. And of course, as I said, Third-party applications could include their own plugins to Karana. All of this is completely modular. And I don't know what else to say. I hope that I convinced you that this system is extremely, extremely powerful. And yeah, Spotlight is hard to beat and we still do not get any kind of file previews, sadly. I kind of wanted to try to implement this, but never, get a, never got the chance or skills or time or money. So we don't get that, but we get everything else. <laughs> Thanks for following and see you tomorrow with another video.